E-cigarettes come in many shapes and sizes and are known by many different names, such as e-cigs, vape pens, e-hookers, e-pipes, tank systems or mods. So what are they? They are battery-powered devices that heat a liquid to create emissions which are then inhaled by the user. There are many different types of e-cigarettes, but regardless of their form, their emissions typically contain varying amounts of nicotine, toxic substances such as carbonyl compounds and heavy metals, and they are often flavoured. The levels of risk associated with using e-cigarettes can vary widely across products. Evidence reveals that these products are harmful to the health of users and those exposed to the aerosols secondhand. Some countries, which monitor e-cigarette use among young people, have shown marked increases in e-cigarette use among adolescents. They also show that e-cigarettes are more popular among children aged 13 to 15 years than among adults. E-cigarettes are particularly risky when used by children and adolescents. Exposure of children and adolescents to nicotine, a highly addictive substance, can have long-lasting and damaging effects on the developing brain. E-cigarette use increases the risk of heart disease and lung disorders. It also poses risks to pregnant women, as use can damage the growing fetus. WHO recommends that where e-cigarettes are not banned, they should be regulated. Regulatory objectives include preventing e-cigarette use by non-smokers and children by, for example, banning or restricting their advertising promotion and sponsorship, banning flavours that appeal to children, minimising, as far as possible, potential health risks and or risks to e-cigarette users by, for instance, regulating product characteristics, preventing unproven health claims, protecting non-users from exposure to e-cigarette emissions by prohibiting their use in indoor spaces where smoking is not permitted, banning the sale of e-cigarettes to minors, considering taxation approaches which can help to curb e-cigarette use, protecting public health policies from commercial and other vested interests of the tobacco industry. Implement what works. Implement the WHO FCTC.